Hi, this is Dan Mays, and uh, this is a video re video review of I'm Two DVD Audio Ripper Five. Now, I'd like to thank the guys at I'm Two for hooking me up with this software. Uh, this is paid software, but there'll be a little surprise at the end, so uh, make sure you stay to the end. Okay, here we go. So, this is I'm Two DVD Audio Ripper. Now, as far as I know, there's no other software. Um, as cheap as this and there's no freeware as far as I know that does this directly like this piece of software does um, now the old way of um, ripping uh, audio from video is to take the DVD rip it to an MP4 for example and then rip the MP3 from the MP4 it goes through too many processes and just ends up losing quality this uh, piece of software is, is pretty valuable in my opinion um, so here we go. Um, I'll just take you through some of the options. So file, we've got open DVD, open IFO files, running background. Uh, a lot of the greyed out, and they sort of come available once we start a project. Um, after ripping done, this is quite cool. So um, most DVD software has this, I suppose, but you could leave it ripping all, like while you go out, uh, if it's going to take like two hours or whatever, or, um, and get it to shut down your system. Um, or hibernate standby or exit program after it's completed the task. Uh, we've got some skins here and some languages, some settings, and help dialogue. So it's a pretty simple piece of software, um, but like I said, very, very valuable. So, why would you use this? Um, well, I'd use this for um, ripping music from music DVDs that I own that I want on my iPod, for example. So Say there's a live version of a song that I really, really like, and there's no way of getting the MP3 file because it was only released on DVD. Then I can use this piece of software to rip it from the DVD and put it onto my iPod. Um, don't go um, ripping music from DVD and putting it up on on the net and things like that because you probably will get caught and it's just not worth it really, just for personal use only. Okay, so let's start a project. Now the good thing about this is that we can open from hard format DVDs but we can also open from uh, ISO files or CD images so if I go to file here and I go to open DVD I can open see here's my uh, actual drive and here's my virtual drive now I'm just going to pause the video because for some reason I completely lose sound while it does this so while it's loading the uh, DVD I'll just quickly pause okay so we're back here and uh, here we go it's loaded all of the uh, VOB files off of the uh, DVD image and um, VOB files aren't terribly informative so you probably won't get a lot of information but you can kind of look at the duration um, of each track and find out which ones you want um, I'm just going to choose the short one here just to show you so I'm just going to pick this 19 second one here and uh, down on profile, this is going to be your encoding options. So you can see we've got AAC, AC3, Sun AU, M4A, MP2, MP3, OG, WAV, and WMA. So for best quality, you would probably uh, choose a WAV file, um, but for use on MP3 players, iPods, and smaller file size, uh, you can be choosing MP3. So I'm just going to choose that. And you set your destination file and you're ready to go so you just click this uh, start ripping uh, it's like a little record um, a look, like a little record uh, symbol but before you do that remember to name your file I'm just going to call this test one and also which is quite helpful you can preview the file that you've selected as well so if you again you're not sure what the file is um, and how it corresponds to the tracks on your DVD then you can play them here so that you can hear uh, what they are so here we go we're going to start ripping now there's two places here where you can see the status you can see it up here next to the track you can also see it down here next to underneath the destination right so that's done so I'm just going to come out of DVD audio ripper now and I'm going to go into the destination file just to show that it's done. Now you see it creates this little uh, um, folder 
in the destination and then inside we should have test one which is there and that's the mp3 that I've just um, ripped so there you go they're, they're really good quality now the free version uh, you can only uh, rip up to a minute of audio from each track so um, here's the good bit of the video basically the guys at IM2 have given me one free license to give away in a competition for the full version of DVD Audio Ripper 5 so if you really like this software um, then here's what you have to do so if you come to my website Dan's Tech Universe um, which the address is danstech.weebly.com I'll put a link in the description you'll see that um, I've got a competition here now there's three steps you have to follow to enter this competition but the main part is basically you need to send me a screenshot of your desktop now the uh, the winner of the competition will be announced on the 17th of September 2009 so if you come along to my website follow these three steps and um, wait until the 17th of December and you'll be notified and sent your uh, free key uh, from IM2 themselves. Now this is $30 uh, worth of software so it's what, about 23, 24 quid at the moment um, in English money so you know it, it's a nice bit of free software to get you know you're saving yourself $30 so um, I hope you like the video and I hope you'll come along and enter the um, competition and remember to follow the steps concisely because if the steps aren't followed concisely then your um, entry won't be successful so thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe and thank you again